And speaking of Vanderbilt, we're pleased to be joined by the quarterback of the Commodores, Kyle Shermer. Kyle, great to have you here in studio. Thanks so much for having me. Appreciate it. Big week for you and the boys. SEC Media Days coming up. Are you ready for all the questions you're going to be facing in uh, Hoover, Alabama? Yeah, it'll be fun. It'll be great to uh, get together and uh, you know, have a little trip down there, and it'll be fun. It'll be great. Coming off a season, you throw for 2,400 yards, nine touchdowns. What did you think of your performance last year, and what would you like to improve on? Consistency. Yeah. That's the biggest thing. Um, across the board, offense, defense, special teams, we showed that we can do some great things um, across the board. And um, me personally, and just as a group, I think if we can be consistent and consistently play at a high level, I think uh, you know will be dangerous. I think back to the Georgia game, trailing late in the fourth quarter, needing a touchdown to take the lead. You guys were able to engineer a drive, put it in the end zone. How much did that game, that performance, do for the confidence of this offensive group? Oh, it was great. Um, we weren't having a you know a stellar day, <laughs> to say the least, on offense that day. But you know when it, when it counted, uh, we put together a good drive and we showed we can win against uh, you know a big time team and. Uh, but yeah, just win, winning it at the end of the day is the most important thing, and I think uh, we show that we could do that. You beat your arch rivals, Tennessee. Uh, you guys make it to a bowl game. Now, I know things didn't go quite your way against NC State, but how satisfying was the finish to that year and getting to the postseason? You know, I wouldn't want to say it's, it was satisfying. You know, it was very encouraging that, uh, to see that we had grown so much. Um, and it's really, uh, you know, been encouraging for this offseason. Uh, it's a shame we didn't send the seniors off the right way in the bowl game. But at the end of the day, I think it was really encouraging for this group coming back next year. Now, immediately after that bowl game, your star running back, Ralph Webb, announced that he would come back and play one more season. How much of a comfort is it for you as a quarterback knowing you can just turn around and hand off to one of the best running backs in the SEC? Yeah, it's awesome. <laughs> Ralph's great. You know, he's a great teammate. He's our captain. Um, you know, more than just, you know, running the ball. It, Ralph does so much more than just, you know, running the ball and all those yards that you guys see. Um, you know, behind the scenes, he does so many, you know, great things, and he's a leader on our team. And, you know, I'm, you know, I'm really uh, I'm happy he's still on the team. Fall camp right around the corner. Looking ahead to the schedule this year, taking a look. You open at Middle Tennessee, tough place to play. You got Alabama coming here, at Ole Miss, at Florida, at South Carolina. And of course, at Tennessee to end the year, how challenging is this schedule going to be for you guys? Oh, it's really challenging. It, it has been every year, and uh, you know, you, in the SEC, you got you know big games every week, and even our out-of-conference games, we got you know big-time opponents. MTSU is a great team. We played them last year, the year before. Western Kentucky, um, Kansas State, all these teams out of conference, as well as you know the SEC teams are are you know tough opponents. So. Um, we're just trying to go 1-0 and every week and uh, take it one step at a time. Kyle Shermer, good luck at Media Days. Thanks so much. And good luck this season. Appreciate Thanks so much it. for being here. Thank you.